Now, people have often asked me this, design or function? Which one's more important and which one do you need in your life? That's really, really hard. I mean, for me at J & Co, what I tend to do is design with function. There you go. I had both of them together. So you have something that was going to be thrown away and I have to give it another function or the same function. Let's say, for instance, a chair. I have to give it a function as a chair. So I have to put a design into it that's going to make it desirable. Otherwise, it would have ended up on a landfill site. So basically, design and function, I think, can work well together. And it works well together when you're reimagining, repurposing, redesigning, upcycling, whatever you're doing, you're designing it for a particular use. But you've got to make it look appealing because no one's going to buy it. And there are a number of designers out there who are designing just for the sake of designing. And they have clients, and that's cool. That's for them, but that's not what I do or not what we do at J & Co. We design with a function in mind at the end, but we have to add that element of bespoke and that element of, you know what? That looks a little bit tasty. I want to have some of that in my ass. Not just, oh, that looks fabulous, darling. What does it do? Absolutely nothing. It just sits there. What, well, that's it? Yeah. I think that borders along the line of being artwork. And I'm not saying artwork doesn't do anything, but if you've got a picture on the wall, what does it do apart from look pretty? That's all it does. I know the art critics will come out with some stuff and they'll say to me the aesthetics and the this and the that, but the reality is it doesn't do anything for me. I can't sit on that bit of artwork. Or I know what you're going to say, there is artwork that you can sit on. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, don't get into the semantics of design and function. They both have relevance and it depends on what you're using them for. In J and Co, that's what we do. We design with a function at the end. So it looks cool and it has a use. And what inspires my design ideas, especially in J and Co, is something that catches the eye. For me, it's all about, say you've got something that's gonna go into the bin. How do you make that thing that's going into the bin going to someone's house? How do you make it desirable? How do you make it where someone is like, you know what, I really want that. I want that in my house. And remember, it was rubbish earlier on until we've done something to it and it's like, bosh, the reason why my ideas are inspired by <sighs> desirable, it's making the undesirable, which is rubbish, into desirable. And how you do that is you just add some fabric, you add some color, you add some creativity that allows that piece of furniture to just shine again. And if it doesn't shine, you know it's gonna end up. And we don't want that, do we? Because we're always about sustainability and making sure that the stuff that we have does not end up in a landfill site because the planet can't afford it anymore.